All right, guys, so fresh off of a very successful run with LR Super Vegito on Super Battle Road, a successful no item run. Now we're going to take my super physical team in here and we're going to test out how powerful LR Gogeta is also on Super Battle Road. Now, the thing with, I would probably say that, hmm, I want to lean and say that Super Int is probably a little better, but let's see what Super Physical is capable of doing uh, with these LRs. Uh, Future Gohan is a very good unit as well uh, in terms of reducing damage from these fuckers. Uh, looks like Raditz is attacking an awful lot at the end there, so this is perfect. We can go ahead and take him out. Now, I'm also very curious to see how uh, Future Gohan is going to perform in this kind of setting right here, uh, surrounded by all these other good units on Super Battle. So we're going to get Supered. Instantly right off the bat So not really as good of, of a start as last time, but LR Super Gogeta uh, <laughs> Oh Man, oh that sucks that he just survived right there Just by the skin of his cock ring. He barely managed to survive get out of here Raditz you son of a bitch So that does hurt a little bit right there if we had managed the one-shot Raditz right there Oh man, and then Vegito could have supered probably uh, the Vegeta right there is who we would have gone for. Um, all right, so again, one thing with Super Battle Road that a lot of people do need to keep in mind. Uh, oh, okay, okay, we're getting additional supers and shit right off the bat. Is you do want to usually take the enemies down from right to left uh, because usually they'll have less HP uh, the further to the right that you go. Now, LR Trunks here. I mean, he links up fine, I guess, with LR Gogeta, but there certainly is better options. Uh, Kefla could help out as well in that she'll provide a lot of physical-type orbs. One of the big things that these physical-type orbs are going to do is they're going to allow us to heal an insane amount of health. Like, whenever LR Gogeta or Vegito, they get a bunch of the same type colored orbs, they're going to heal, they're going to start healing, like, insane amounts of health. Uh, which would make like a no item super battle road run possible or even Make just a normal run on super battle road, you know for like free-to-play players or whatever very easy as well uh, These two kind of really change the game in super battle road just with how ridiculously uh, Tanky they are and how much damage they do the fact that they can completely neutralize uh, normal attack uh, damage basically uh, here on Super Battle Road is so huge. Now, I kind of, hmm, I would, I think, like to, we're not going to be able to, yeah, I, I would like to stall a little bit here and try and let uh, LR Gogeta transform, but it's just not going to work because LR Bardock's giving himself too much key. Uh, I probably will keep LR Bardock on the other rotation rather than LR Trunks, uh, or maybe I will take, I'll, I'll float one of the two LR Gogetas, because Bardock and Trunks, they do link up pretty well together. Uh, they have Shattering Limit as well as Prepare for Battle. Uh, okay, so we're going to be going into the stage with Metal Cooler, uh, Metal Cooler, with uh, Mecha Frieza as well as King Cold here. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I probably, ooh. So we have all those physical type orbs right there. You know what? Let me maybe keep ultimate our uh, future gohan around yeah future gohan is a little bit of a defensive a little better of a defensive unit than the lr trunks is so we'll keep him around uh that should right there take out king cold and then this should be a pretty heavy attack as well towards frieza maybe i should have focused on taking frieza down first because uh, i do see that frieza is attacking a lot after that first slot Wow, we took a lot of damage here. All right, so we're going to have to bust out an item for sure on the next turn. Uh, we took a tremendous amount of damage. I actually thought, I thought F Future Gohan would be able to defend a little better than that, but he did kind of get torn up a little bit there. But I was able to, like, maximize uh, LR Gogeta's damage. Jeez, we took so much damage on this rotation. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. This is another thing. The transformations, how difficult they are to get to activate because you have to be six turns uh, or later into the fight. That's really what kind of holds it back and makes these transformations very difficult to obtain. So let's give Super Vegito a super attack right there. And we're going to have a lot of physical type key for 
uh, LR Gogeta to work with. And looks like Kefla will be able to get a super attack. I do like kind of having Kefla around on this team because, again, she does give a nice amount of key to LR Gogeta and really will allow him to run wild, uh, which is going to be very nice. Uh, and then again, the healing from the orbs uh, is always something... Like, in difficult modes like this, still on Battlefield, uh, even at g getting any healing you can from those same colored orbs is very, very important. So, uh, I do try and, like, prioritize that as much as I possibly can. Uh, we'll let Kefla... Hopefully, like, if I could get lucky and get, like, a double or triple super with Kefla here, too, uh, she could definitely... Ooh, or a dodge. That is also uh, something I do like to see. Hmm... You know, my Goji my LR Gogeta is rainbowed. Uh, I probably should actually have him uh, linked up with the physical Super Vegito, but that's kind of not the way I let it work out. Future Gohan took a little bit too much damage there for me to rely on him in the future. See, the problem with Future Gohan, they really should have made him just attack and defense 100%. Like, there is no reason he couldn't start out with 100% defense. Like, I, I just I don't see what the point is. Uh, because he does have that another part of his passive where he reduces damage by 10% for every turn that he's on, like, rotation. But it's just, he just gets crushed. Like, it doesn't reduce as much damage as you think it would. Um, okay, so let's... I do want to take down Cooler first. Because uh, in this stage, Cooler just attacks so much more than these other fuckers. That I, I think it would be smart, wise even, to take him down first... Uh, I don't like the way that these orbs did not fall the way I was hoping they would either. Uh, so that's not a super attack for LR Trunks. That is very annoying. Alright, so only 16k is about how much uh, Super Vegito is taking. Again, my Super Vegito does have uh, two dupes in him, but I, I still am missing two dupes. So I imagine once Super Vegito is rainbowed, uh, he probably will be able to tank even more, maybe even taking under 10k from normals, uh, which would be very, very nice. Uh, I feel like we're probably going to have to use an item or two uh, in this stage as well, unless like Super Gogeta could get like a crit or an additional on Cooler. Uh, maybe LR Trunks. Uh, perhaps LR Trunks could get an additional Super. That would be very beneficial. No. Okay, okay, okay. So let's see what we got here. Uh, we do have a lot of physical type orbs, so that should be enough actually to take Cooler down. Even if it's not, I do think LR Bardock can... I, I would be stunned if LR Gogeta plus LR Bardock together uh, weren't able to take down uh, Cooler right here. Only 2.7 million damage with uh, 24 key. So yeah, I, I should get them linked up with a much better partner here than Bardock. Bardock isn't cutting it, but we were still able to take Cooler down. All right, cool. So now that Cooler is out of here, uh, we're sitting pretty because Cooler is kind of like the big problem in this stage. And then all of his fucking friends, they just hit once, whereas Cooler will hit, you know, four, five, six times. It's the same thing uh, when you fight like Android 13 and his friends. Like Android 13 just dishes out attacks left and fucking right. But, you know, his friends just kind of sit there. And it, this is the one spot where... I do think most of the times, the strategy... Wow, Salsa survived that, huh? The strategy is... Ooh, but this is fine, because Super Vegeta will get him on a counter. Uh, usually, the strategy is to go uh, right to left. But on this stage, I think it probably is better to go uh, left to right. So, we will just super attack whoever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, Souls is going to get taken down by the counter from Super Vegito, which will be very good. And then we'll continue doing this. So, we're going to get close to a... Looks like a super, like a Dokkan attack. Uh, we could get to a Dokkan attack pretty much on the next round. Have we only used one item so far? Hmm, ooh, but two super attacks on Vegito. That hurts, bro. Oh my goodness. That was 300k damage we just took. Actually, if we don't finish this off this turn, Super Gogeta might come out. Are we going to be able to finish this on this turn? I don't know. You're done. You're not surviving that. Don't play with me. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. So this is finished. Damn, because we really might have gotten a transformation in uh, Super Gogeta on the next turn. That might have been turn... No, that was, was that turn six? It probably wasn't turn six, so it probably doesn't really matter. And Bojack, huh? All right, so we'll have to use an item here for Bojack for sure. Um, Because Bojack's minions, there's just too many of them to just kind of 
uh, you know, risk it to chance, so to say. Mm, okay, so who has higher defense? Bardock by a landslide there. Okay, so I'm going to use a Princess Snake. How much health? What will this bring us to? Uh, that's enough. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, so at this point, let's uh, start taking these fuckers down right to left. Uh, this is a dangerous stage where uh, if you let these guys just chill around, uh, you'll be done. So that should take down Bujin. And then uh, we should be able to take down his friend right there. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, and we'll get a Dokkan attack on the next rotation. So next rotation, no matter what, this will be finished. So, on the next rotation, I'll have everyone aim for Bojack. That's the only thing on this last stage. Usually, a Dokkan attack is not going to be enough to clear out the main boss enemy. But, it can clear out all of the minions. So, really, I probably should even have been focusing more of my attacks on Bojack right here. Rather than uh, Beedo, who LR Gogeta is going for. Yeah, I should have had LR Gogeta go for uh, Bojack right there. That was a mistake. And they barely supered. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, all right, so now LR Gogeta comes out to play. And he is going to do absolutely massive damage. Uh, and then I think we're going to prioritize right here. Here, let me do this. And then we'll prioritize going for Bojack. That should heal up a little bit of health, uh, even having Kefla get those physical type orbs. Uh, okay, so I think all of Bojack's minions will be done right here. Oh, that one, yo, oh, I missed three nodes. That one, like, it surprised me. <laughs> it, it surprised me right there. I, I still do think all the minions should be down, depending on if LR Gogeta gets a crit here. Because, like, a Dokkan attack by LR Gogeta, especially, oh, yeah, 3.2. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Bye, Bojack. <laughs> Goodbye, Bojack, my boy. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. So we finished up with two items used. We used two healing items. Okay, so looks like the big difference is Chiaotzu. Uh, having that Chiaotzu available for Super Int makes it so easy to get a no-item run done. Uh, and there's not a Chiaotzu like unit you could use for super physical. Uh, I suppose, hmm, Vegito Blue probably would reduce more damage. He would probably take less damage than future Gohan, so a rainbowed Vegito Blue would probably be better here. But all right, guys, that will do it. There is our run with LR Super Gogeta on Super Battle Road. As you guys can see, these LRs absolutely just body Super Battle Road. They leave it in shreds.